Monaco, round six of the championship. This year, once more, Pirelli is bringing the soft and the super soft car. So, how does Pirelli decide the compound choice for each race? The tire supplier takes into account four key factors that define the amount of stress and consequently wear that is placed on the tires. The first factor is tarmac roughness. Monaco is the least abrasive track and has also the lowest average speed of the year, including the slowest corner. It's easy to see how tire wear is minimal. The second element is the circuit layout. Each circuit, obviously, has its own individual layout, which puts different levels of energy into the tires. This depends on factors such as the severity of braking and whether there are mainly fast or slow corners, all of which define how much longitudinal and lateral force is put through the tires. Monaco is particularly heavy on brakes. This transmits heat to the tires, which adds to the stress placed on the tire construction. Entering saint devot for example, the cars scrub off 160 kph in just 100 meters. The tires also have extremely heavy demands placed on them in the swimming pool complex, where they hit the curves at more than 200 kph and experience lateral accelerations of 3.65 g. The third factor is weather conditions. Track and air temperature affects tire warm-up and tire behavior. The last one is past experience. Historical data backs up Pirelli's decision to stick with the soft and the super soft compounds for the tight and narrow Monaco Street circuit, where, in the past, the outcome of the race has been decided by strategy.